What's going on everybody? Kleepas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Blue Bold N2 and the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing and availability. But with that being said, let's get into it. So with the Blue Bold N2, we're getting a 6.6 inch AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 390, an aspect ratio of 19 and a half by nine and a 90.9% .9 screen to body ratio. With the Moto G Stylus 5G, we're getting a 6.8 inch 120 hertz IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080p, a PPI of 395, an aspect ratio of 20 and a half by nine and an 85.8% .8 screen to body ratio. So in general, both of these phones do have really good displays, but they do have slightly different advantages. On one hand with the Blue Bold N2, with an AMOLED display versus an IPS LCD, the Blue Bold N2 does have better display technology and AMOLED display is gonna be a lot brighter. The colors are more more vibrant and the viewing angles are also going to be better. So as you can see here, there is a huge difference. So if you're outside in the sun, for example, the Blue Bold N2 is going to be a lot easier to see than the Moto G Stylus 5G. But on the other hand, as you can clearly see, the Moto G Stylus 5G is significantly larger and this tends to be a good thing when you're consuming a lot of content. And in addition to this, with an aspect ratio of 20 and a half by nine versus 19 and a half by nine, the Moto G Stylus 5G has a much taller and more narrow form factor. So if you're doing something like watching a video in landscape mode, for example, you're going to get a more immersive experience with the Moto G Stylus 5G. And if you're doing something like scrolling through social media, with a taller and more narrow form factor, you can fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. And finally, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have a higher refresh rate with a 120Hz display versus a standard 60Hz display. And this is going to make the movement on the screen a little bit faster and smoother. And while you probably can't really tell that much in this video, it does make a difference when you're actually using the phones. So if you're doing something like watching videos, playing games, or really anything with motion on the screen, you will get a more premium feeling and more fluid experience with the Moto G Stylus 5G. 5G. So definitely keep this in mind as well. But when it comes to the display, overall the winner here is really going to be up to personal preference. If you'd rather have a brighter image with better colors, the Blue Bold N2 with an AMOLED display is definitely going to be a great choice here. But if you want a larger display with better dimensions and a higher refresh rate, the Moto G Stylus 5G will have an advantage. But in general, again, both phones do have really good displays and you're really not going to go wrong with either of them. Now for storage, both phones are getting 256 gigabytes of internal storage, but the Moto G Stylus 5G does have micro SD card expansion and the Blue Bold N2 doesn't. Now honestly, in my opinion, with 256 gigabytes, that's really going to be more than most people need anyway. So if it were me choosing, I really wouldn't care about micro SD card expansion. I don't think I even own a micro SD card for that matter. But if you do want that feature, maybe you have really a ton of photos and videos or something like that, then in that case, the Moto G Stylus 5G will have a bit of an advantage. But again, for most people, I feel like 256 gigabytes of internal storage is going to be plenty. Now for security features, both phones do have face unlock and they also have fingerprint scanners as well. With the Blue Bold N2, it's right here on the display and with the Moto G Stylus 5G it's on the power key. But that being said, starting with the Blue Bold N2, let's give these fingerprint scanners a try and see how well they work. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And moving on to the Moto G Stylus 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So both fingerprint scanners worked real well. And again, remember, both phones also have face unlock. So if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the Blue Bold N2, we got a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a quad camera setup with a 64 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide camera, a two megapixel macro camera, and a two megapixel depth sensing camera. With the Moto G Stylus 5G, we got another 16 megapixel front facing camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, an eight megapixel ultra wide camera, that doubles as a macro camera and a two megapixel depth sensing camera. So in general, as far as features go, both phones have pretty much everything, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. It's kind of interesting to see the Moto G Stylus 5G actually has the ultra wide camera and the macro camera combined. This and the 4G version of this phone are the only ones I've actually seen do that. But in general, it does work pretty much the same. So as far as features go, you're not going to go wrong with either phone. But that being said, the quality is a bit of a different story. The Blue Bold N2 really isn't bad, but it has a really specific, interesting kind of texture to the photos. And I feel like for most people, the Moto G Stylus 5G is going to look a little bit better. With this phone's camera, the colors are a little bit sharper and more realistic. 
realistic. Whereas with the blue bold N2, while the photos aren't bad per se, things look a little bit dull. But that being said, if you want a decent camera and you're not too concerned about the quality as long as it's not bad, you're not going to go wrong with either phone. But again, if you want to get the best quality between the two, the Moto G Stylus 5G will have an advantage. Now when it comes to video, the blue bold N2 has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera and 1080p in the front. And the Moto G Stylus 5G has a max quality of 1080p in both the rear and front. In general, technically, I guess the blue bold N2 does have a little advantage being able to record in 2K, but honestly, 2K feels a little useless. If you want to record in a higher quality than 1080p, you might as well just go to 4K, which unfortunately neither of these phones can do. So on one hand, I feel like most people are going to be perfectly fine with 1080p, in which case the Moto G Stylus 5G is going to be a perfectly fine choice. But on the other hand, I imagine the people who are going to be recording in a higher resolution are probably going to want 4K anyway, which again, neither of these phones can do. But overall, again, when it comes to the general camera setup and features, neither of these phones are bad, but I personally like the Moto G Stylus 5G a little bit better. Now when it comes to RAM and processor, both phones are getting 8 gigabytes of RAM. With the Blue Bolt N2, we got the MediaTek Dimensity 810 processor, and with the Moto G Stylus 5G, we're getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G processor. Now I ran Geekbench 5 benchmark tests on both of these phones, and here are the scores right here. As you can see, there is a bit of a difference. In general, it's not really a huge difference. It's not like comparing a mid-range phone to a flagship phone or anything. But in general, the Moto G Stylus 5G is going to be a little bit faster. So if you're doing stuff like mobile gaming, for example, that takes up a little bit more power, or you're just going to be on your phone a lot, you will get a better experience with the Moto G Stylus 5G. But that being said, for more basic activities, keep in mind the Blue Bolt N2 is still not a slow phone. And if you're not really doing a whole lot with it, but you just want decent performance in general, you're still not going to go wrong with the Blue Bolt N2 either. And another thing I do want to point out is that in case you don't know, the Blue Bolt N2 is actually a 5G phone too. So if you do want 5G connectivity, both of these devices are going to be perfectly fine for that. Now, as far as the battery goes, the Blue Bolt N2 has a 4200 milliamp hour battery that supports 30 watt fast charging, and the Moto G Stylus 5G has a 5000 milliamp hour battery that supports 15 watt fast charging. So in general, unless you really like fast charging a lot, which I feel like most people don't even really care about for that matter, the Moto G Stylus 5G is going to be a much better choice when it comes to the battery. With a 5000 milliamp hour battery, you're going to get great battery life and longevity. And with the Moto G Stylus 5G specifically, this phone is really well optimized, so the battery life on this phone is great. On the other hand, with the Blue Bolt N2, with a 4200 milliamp hour battery, the battery life is not going to be nearly as good. But that being said, it's not really terrible in my experience. So if you don't really care about battery life that much, and you just need it to be decent, this phone will still at least get the job done. As far as other features go, the Moto G Stylus 5G does have NFC, whereas the Blue Bolt N2 doesn't. So if you really like to make contactless mobile payments using Tap and Pay, the Moto G Stylus 5G of course will have a huge advantage here. And in addition to this, obviously as the name suggests, the Moto G Stylus 5G does in fact have a stylus, making it one of the few phones in this price range that actually does. So if you do want that feature, then definitely keep this in mind as well. Another thing I do want to point out is that with the Blue Bolt N2, we are only getting Android 11, whereas with the Moto G Stylus 5G, this phone does have Android 12. And not not only that, but Motorola does have pretty decent software support, maybe not as good as Samsung or Google for example, but still pretty decent, so I'm sure there will be an update to Android 13. Whereas with the Blue Bolt N2, not only are we getting an older version of Android here, but Blue really doesn't have the best software support, so while there may be at least an update to Android 12 at some point, I still really wouldn't count on it, so if you care about the software, then I would definitely say the Moto G Stylus 5G will have a huge advantage here. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, in almost every way, I would say the Moto G Stylus 5G is a significantly better device. I personally do like the camera on this phone a lot better. The performance is significantly better. It has a larger battery. It not only has a newer software, but Motorola phones also have better software support overall. And it has a lot of other features like a stylus and NFC that the Blue Bolt N2 doesn't. But that being said, one thing I really like about the Blue Bolt N2 is this phone does have an AMOLED display, and this is going to make the brightness and image look a lot better, and I feel like this is definitely something to consider if you're consuming a lot of content, despite the Moto G Stylus 5G being significantly larger. But overall, that's really the only advantage I see the Blue Bolt N2 having. Sure, it's not a bad phone, but in pretty much every other way. The Moto G Stylus 5G is a lot better, and not only that, but the carrier compatibility is also better. So if you have like Verizon or Visible, for example, you won't even be able to use the Blue Bolt N2, and I'm 99% sure no carrier is offering this phone. Whereas with the Moto G Stylus 5G, sure this phone unlocked is about $500, making it around double the price of the Blue Bolt N2. But that being said, I have seen plenty of carrier deals with the Moto G Stylus 5G, so while you can get this phone for $500 factory unlocked, if you get it through a carrier, you're probably not going to be paying that. So in general, again, 
again, while the Blue Bolt N2 does have some nice features, and by itself, I do like the phone for the most part, I do think the Moto G Stylus 5G is a significantly better device, and even considering the higher price, I do think this phone still does provide a lot more value for the money. But this concludes my comparison between the Blue Bolt N2 and the Motorola Moto G Stylus 5G 2022. Again, if you want to learn more about either of these phones individually, I will be linking to several other videos about them in the description, as well as some information about pricing and availability, because this is always changing. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.